Uh, what I want to share with you uh, uh, was a vision scenario that we use often to um, get discussions going with uh, uh, partners and customers. Um, and this vision scenario uh, is about uh, uh, a, a potential future um, uh, for healthcare. It's a future, it's not the future, but it helps us in uh, getting discussion going and also thinking about what uh, can the future bring and what is needed or what don't we want the future to bring. And in this case, we're looking at uh, Bob on the left, uh, who is uh, having a, a video call with his uh, uh, healthcare advisor or general practitioner. Um, and Bob is connected. He has all kinds of uh, devices that we all, all have. Uh, we all have uh, uh, mobile phones with sensors in them. Some people have Fitbits and what have you not. And, and with all these sensors, uh, Bob gets uh, uh, all kinds of data, which is uh, shared in a, in a health cloud, where there's all kind of uh, information of Bob, his physiology, his uh, uh, phenotype, genotype, but also his activities and all kinds of vital uh, signs. Um, and in a discussion with his uh, health practitioner who uses a, a, um, a health database, um, they notice that something uh, is wrong with Bob or might go wrong with Bob. And based on that, uh, a prescription uh, is made tailored to his uh, specific uh, situation and his specific needs. Um, that uh, prescription is sent to a, a, a local production uh, facility uh, where um, uh, the specific prescription gets uh, uh, get produced. In our case, we work on 3D printing, so it could be 3D printing. In the background, you already see a, a delivery guy uh, on its way uh, to deliver um, uh, the medication uh, to Bob. And as you can see, the strip of pills, each pill is also individualized because during the, um, uh, the, the, the period of his treatment, um, uh, the specific uh, uh, components that he needs to get and the dosage might vary um, and uh, Bob uh, remains uh, healthy and fit and, uh, um, and enjoys uh, his life. Um, and if we uh, um, look at this type of scenario, uh, it's based also on, on a few missions that the Dutch government has at looking at trying to get uh, um, people with a chronic disease more um, uh, participating in society, but also trying to uh, move a lot of uh, um, healthcare treatments, which are possible uh, to do also outside of the healthcare system in the, uh, in the, uh, the, the environment of the person itself. Um, but if we look at it from a, a technology perspective um, uh, in order to get to this scenario, um, a lot of things need to be developed, uh, personalized data, personalized prescription, how to uh, handle that data properly and safely, uh, how to uh, create that individual data into an individual uh, production process, how do you deal with the material flow uh, required for that, how do you do that safe, how do you deliver it uh, to the person's home, uh, how do you make sure that the, the, the patient takes his uh, medication at the right time. Um, and for us, this uh, uh, groups in all kinds of different uh, um, uh, technologies uh, um, that need to be developed. And uh, overall, we see uh, uh, four categories for this going towards more personalization on diagnosis and prescription. No, no uh, good for all, uh, but good for the individual uh, uh, descriptions, uh, being able to uh, uh, make that personalized doses in production. Uh, distributed either by producing it at the person's home or producing it centrally and getting it uh, distributed um, and having the person uh, use it. Um, and as I said, this is a vision scenario. Eh? There's a, a lot of debate uh, uh, on, on how it will look like, but we believe that, that uh, if you want to improve people's lives, you need to take uh, the treatment closer to the person and more uh, individualized and personalized to the a uh, specific uh, uh, person's need, and we see uh, uh, potential in, in a route like this, and uh, hope it triggers uh, discussion and debate on, uh, uh, on ethical issues, technical issues, whatever issues people want to, uh, want to raise.